Hello, hello, my name is Allison. For those of you who don't know me, I am a backpacking and outdoor empowerment coach for women around the world. And I have a signature program called Become an Outdoor Backpacking Badass, where we teach women how to become more self-sufficient and confident in their skills in the outdoors. And today I am coming at you with a few tips about hiking in the wind. So Michael and I, we decided we were in Texas and we decided that we were going to go hike the high point of Texas because we were close by and it's called Guadalupe Peak. And when we were checking the weather forecast beforehand, we saw really high winds. So around 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour. And so I thought this would be a great learning experience for all of you. So. For starters, I'm not gonna make this super long, but I just wanted to give you three tips of how I prepare for a hike that's in the wind besides deciding not to do it, which is totally an option. Um, last week, we were going to do this hike and it was gonna be windy and like snowing. So we were like, eh. We found the snow in New Zealand and it's very uncomfortable and wet. But today was sunny and um, windy. So we decided to do it anyways. But the way that we prepared for it is essentially, you know, first step is always A, being aware of what the weather is. A lot of times people go to forecasts and they'll look up like, what's the temperature? Is it gonna rain? But they forget to look at the wind. And one of my favorite resources for checking weather, especially if you're gonna be doing peaks, is called mountainforecast.com and you can look up whatever peak you're doing it has a lot of the peaks so i typed in guadalupe peak and you can get really detailed it tells you all about the winds and the time of the day and it's really really great resource so first step look up what is it going to be like and keep checking that as you get close to your date the second step would be bring the right gear so it's like not that cold but the wind makes it extra cold so for us, we are just trying to make sure that we have the right stuff in case it gets insane um, on the peak. So for us, we brought uh, layers like um, a down jacket and this, I'm wearing like a long sleeve base layer under the underneath this, but also this is like kind of my wind layer. Um, in addition to that, it's like when it gets really cold, like your extremities can get really, really, really cold. <laughs> and so you bring gloves with you and it's also really important to bring things to protect your face so like bringing your sunglasses a balaclava something you could cover up if things got really bad and a beanie as well and you'll notice like i'm wearing a hat and michael didn't wear a hat today because his would have flown off mine's a visor so i had a little bit more um, control about what was happening with that and then uh, the final tip is just being able to make the call to turn around. Like if things get crazy and you feel like you're getting blown off the peak, that's like not a super fun time and it's probably just gonna get worse. So being able to make the t call and turn around, um, luckily for us, the winds weren't too bad until we got to the very, very top. So we were able to summit Guadalupe Peak and then make it down safely. So if you are going to be going hiking out in the wind and there's high winds expected, A, check that weather forecast. B, bring the right gear with you. You'll be so much more thankful that you did. And then C, be willing to make the call. And then you can still go out and have a great time. And if you liked this and you want more from me, be sure to check out my uh, freebie. It's called the Outdoor Adventure Starter Kit. You can find it at shedreamsofalpine.com slash adventure. And that's where you can learn more about me and become part of more of the outdoor empowerment awesomeness that we have to offer at She Dreams of Alpine. Um, thanks for tuning in and see you guys later.